because when you make your ping, that's the shape it's going to be. So if I were to put some tiny little bit in the center of this, you know, maybe like a circle or a square or something, we can just go ahead and draw a square and save this as the ping, it would also include the entire outside and surrounding areas. And we don't really want that. We just want the whole thing. And we could always make it smaller. So I'm just suggesting that you create a very high quality, very large document and then you can always make it smaller and that way you have it later on if you want to vary the sizes. And I would also create this as a PSD and save it um, with all its layers before exporting it as the transparent ping. So that's the process we're going to go through. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to keep this background white. It's fine for now and we're going to add a new layer. So we go up here to layer, new, layer. That's pretty simple, layer one. I'm not going to bother to label this right now. And you can see this is a transparent layer by looking in the layers palette over on the right hand side here. It's transparent. There's nothing there. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a box. I'm going to make this very simple, by the way, just for the sake of instructions. And we're just going to make a box and I'm going to put a color in here. Um, maybe I'll use sort of a pretty blue. So I have chosen the color picker and I'm picking sort of a pale turquoise color and I'm going to use the bucket to just fill it in. And so that's the color that it is. Now I can adjust the opacity from here because I want it to be a little more pale. And I'm keeping the white background for now so that I can see actually if it was just on transparent it wouldn't be so easy for me to see. Ultimately we will turn the background off. But just for now we've got a nice very soft uh, sort of a peacock turquoise color in the background. And I'm just going to add some text. The text I'm going to add is a copyright symbol for copyright and let's see we, we're using times and that looks pretty good it's option option G by the way is the copyright symbol and then I'm just gonna type my name now it is typing number one small and it's in that turquoise color because that's it up what's selected in my type color and I don't want that color obviously I just want something nice and simple I do like times we'll change that in a minute but I'm gonna immediately change the color of my text and just make it black and I'm also going to change the size of my text because I, obviously I want it to fill the space. Um, let's see what 72 looks like. And that's pretty good. Now, just so you know, the drop down menu allows it to go to 72, but you can also just highlight that and add in whatever size you want. Not only that, and this is too big, but I actually could do something even different. So I could do Command T and then grab the corners one of the corners, hold down the shift key to constrain the proportion and I can make my type smaller that way as well. So you'll notice that I still have a lot of space top and bottom and I really don't want that much space top and bottom. So I either have to alter the size of my document or I have to make some changes and I just realized I kinda want my blue to come all the way out to the outside so I have just clicked on that layer and I hit command T, I grab the corners and I'm not worrying about constraining the proportion on that because there's nothing to make it look wonky and I have just said okay I'm hitting return and we're gonna let that be that now just for the sake of this experience and showing you how to make a transparent ping I am going to go ahead and add some more um, imagery just to fill the space so that you can see how it's going to look so we're going to add a new layer <clears throat> I do like to add new layers to do this because then I have more control over the layers individually and I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a circle now I could either draw a circle like this or I could actually hold down my shift key and start to draw and then it gives me a perfectly constrained circle. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that again with my bucket and I'm clicking on the foreground background colors and I'm going to pick a slightly lighter color in this case and I'm just going to spill it in there and you'll notice that it had a very soft edge. Now I can either leave that edge or I can undo it and I can go back. It's one of the things that I like to do. Um, or one of the reasons why I like to add new layers because that gives me more flexibility. So I didn't really want it like that. So I am going to go ahead and these are things you'll you'll figure out. You'll you'll forget to look at your feather too. So I actually want a zero feather. I want a very hard edge. And to get a hard edge I use a zero feather. Again I've held down the shift key and I'm now going to once again spill the color that I had chosen earlier. And I'm going to bring it below the name char trail so it fits behind it and I'm going to change my opacity. I do want it to stand out a little bit and I'm going to do that again believe it or not. I'm going to add one more new layer. Let's unclick that. I'm going to add one more new layer. Layer 3 and I'm going to add one more circle. Why not? 
I'm holding down the shift key and I'm gonna let these overlap I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller just I don't know I'm just trying to create something fun there's yellow here um, I don't necessarily want that particular yellow but let's find a yellow I like let's give it a little paler color and again with the paint bucket I'm gonna paint let that paint in alright I'm gonna lower the opacity of this particular layer and let the other layers shine through so it's very delicate we're gonna have one actually let's go ahead and copy this circle and then I copied it command C I just pasted it command V and now I'm going to move it around this particular circle interesting uh, let's click off of that for a second and let's just get that one layer and move it I'm not sure why this layer oh it's there it's just so faint I could barely see it okay so let's go ahead command T and we're gonna hold the corner I did uh, I'm holding down the shift key so that again I can um, constrain the proportions I don't really want it to be other than a perfect circle so that's what I did alright so I'm hitting return and now I'm going to change the opacity of this as well we're gonna make it just a little bit brighter It was interesting because I could just barely see that other one and we can still move it around anywhere we like and this is just for the sake of the exercise truth is I probably wouldn't use this logo um, and I'm gonna create one more um, let's just get out of that I'm just gonna duplicate that layer and now I'm going to move this circle a little bit over here just sort of creating an interesting balance actually I kinda like that alright now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put another color in here I'm probably gonna go with something a little more green I'm gonna go ahead and spill that in it's interesting um, anyway you get the idea so essentially I have filled the entire section this document that I created a 10 by 6 I could also add anything in here you know extraordinary photography um, photography in a color it's the green color there but I would change that again to black I'm also going to make it a lot smaller photography copyright char crayon and I'm just I'm just making this interesting so we can see what's possible now as you know I can also change my fonts and there's a particularly uh, interesting font that I like called the King and Queen font which wow now it's gigantic so we have to adjust again this is an ongoing sort of a tango that you have to do with all these different tools right and also I want to add some more space between my name here but I kinda like that I'm just gonna click off of it and now I see that I have to move it a little bit um, I can also move the photography the word photography just by clicking on it I was able to do that because I have my auto select selected so if you have auto select selected when you have the move tool it'll pick whatever layer you choose right so here's the turquoise circle the yellow circle the very pale yellow circle the green circle as you can see I have just managed to click through any one of those layers that I want to access simply by having the auto select selected it's really really useful so this is just an example to show you a transparent pink. Now if I'm ready to save this, all I have to do is turn off my background layer and this is what the logo is going to look like. And right here I'm going to go to uh, Save As and Untitled to it says, so I'm going to say Char Logo Sample and I'm going to come, I do want to save it as a PSD initially. That allows me to keep all my layers intact so that I can do adjustments later and now I'm going to do another save as and I'm gonna make this a ping so I'm gonna scroll down in here a ping and I'm also gonna put that on my desktop I'm going to go no compression fast and interlace none and that's it that's all you have to do now when you're in Lightroom and you go to the uh, export when you're exporting and you click on the watermark section you're able to add a graphic and the graphic you need to add is a transparent ping so this will go right on your graphic the, your picture that you're exporting and it works beautifully there you go enjoy